Hey guys, Bondo here. I'm out in the woods, out in my father's woods, and uh, we're gonna cut down this big Douglas fir tree today. And I need this tree for a porch project on the little camp that we we're building um, for Carl. We're gonna build him actually two porches. So if we got this tree out here, it's gotta be 30 inches in diameter at the base. We're gonna cut it down. I got my dad's 660 steel out here. I'm gonna knock this thing down and uh, I'll try to get some footage of us making this porch we're gonna cut some beams out of it and uh some heavy carrying beams for this porch so and posts so stay tuned okay guys so here's the tree not sure uh if it looks big on video but it's a big one big douglas fir huge huge doug fir we got a few of these in my dad's woods you can see there's a couple here they're really big, massive trees. We take them down for certain projects. Well, this project, we need uh, some really heavy duty beams. So this is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna trim around it a little bit, get some of the branches out of the way and these little trees that are gonna trip me up if I'm trying to get away from this thing. And then I'm gonna cut it down. Okay guys, I got it all limbed out. Ooh, there it is. It's a pretty big tree. Not sure if it shows up on camera, but I'm gonna go back and get Carl the Kubota, a couple chains, and uh, I'm gonna pull this thing out onto my dad's back lawn, and then I'll get the forks and bring it over by the sawmill. But I gotta go measure Carl's porch again, just to double check on it the size of it. Okay guys, here's the pile of logs I got from yesterday. Um, this one, this one, that one, and that one are all from the same tree. And then this was one other tree. This here is Eastern Larch, which is similar to Douglas fir. These are Douglas fir, but this is actually Larch, Eastern Larch. But um, this log here is pretty serious. This is the butt log, 26 inches. That's a big log, so 
we're gonna make some beams out of this for this porch for our camp project here this is my sawmill it's a it's made by a quality manufacturing company i'm not sure if they're still building sawmills but they made a really nice mill in their day it's grizzly 30 but it's called it's got a real heavy duty frame on it and uh, i don't get to use it as much as i like but here i am it's got the power up and down push this button and it spins that raises the carriage up and down and then you just pull this handle and it lowers it and there's a scale here for your dimension so we're gonna cut some cut some beams up guys stay tuned Okay guys, I got the Eastern Larch on there. Um, I trimmed it up a little bit. I cut it 17 foot long. I like to trim these ears off of it. It's got a big bell on it and cut them off. Kind of square it up so it lays on the mill flat. It's a pretty nice log. I'm gonna just debark it with this older blade that I got on. Just cut my slabs off and then I'll uh, set it over here in the pile. That's what I did with these two. I just took and uh, got all the bark off of it pretty much, squared them up, and then I'm gonna put a new blade on to cut my timbers. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just get them, uh, get that bark off of there, get them slabs off.
Okay guys, I just got all the bark off of that. It's uh, about a 13 by 12 can. I'm gonna set that off the mill over on the pile here with these so I can resaw them with a brand new blade. So that's what we're doing. the next victim it's a pretty big log guys it's a pretty nice one this is the not the biggest one 18 and a half inch log right there it's gonna make a nice beam not a lot of knots in it Okay guys, I got her squared up. Got all the um, slabs off of it. Squared up to just about 16 by 16. So there's gonna be a lot of lumber in that thing. I'm gonna try to get a 14 by uh, eight cant out of that for this main header beam on this porch. I'm gonna go really heavy on it because I only want two posts, so. Um, I'm gonna, I got one more of the butt log over there off the um, Douglas fir, the mate to this. I'm going to put that on the mill and trim that up, try to square that up, and then I'm gonna put a new blade on there. And uh, that's when the fun starts. I got all these here, they're all cleaned up, and we're gonna start um, making our critical cuts. That's why I'm gonna change the blade to a brand new blade but I want to slab that, that big butt log off first. Carl don't give a shit about this log. You got him. Big 17 footer. Another fur. Pretty heavy. Carl don't care though. up the end of it I like to cut these ears off of here makes it a sit on the mill better that's a big log guys I'm gonna trim her up now and uh, then I change the blade like I said all right guys I'm putting a new blade on the mill um, I got the big big butt log squared up Thing's pretty huge. Got all the slabs off of it. That thing's squared up to be 18, 18 by 18. That's 18 by 18 can. So now I'm gonna have this new blade. We're gonna start making beams. Okay, guys, here's our beams for the porch that we got cut yesterday. These ones here are eight by 14. That's our carrying beams. These are eight by eight, so that's gonna be the posts. I gotta cut these in half. 
I need four posts and two carrying beams. We also cut a bunch of lumber. Got a bunch of uh, lumber here that we ended up cutting some one by stuff for purlins. We got a two by 10 for a ledger board. And we cut some two by eights over here. We ended up with a bunch of two by eights and a bunch of one inch boards. Some really nice one inch boards. We got uh, four nice two by eights there. And we got all this all these one inch boards some of them are pretty wide some of them are 13 14 inches wide and we got this this is an extra post i haven't sawed it up yet but if we mess one up i got an extra one hopefully we don't but i'm gonna get these over by the shop and start working on them say we're doing it to make it so it doesn't rip out yeah tear out if you chisel around the joint it'll prevent tear out when you put the chain mortiser in there go show them the other the pocket we did over there the looks so nice Okay, we'll get the mortiser set up. Video this one. So everyone gets to see me get covered in sawdust, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys thought we were just masons, didn't you? Hmm? What you look like. Not bad. For a couple masons.
sometimes the fights and just wants to break down. Yeah, it depends on the direction of the grain. Drop this cut. one's gonna get cut next. put uh, bars in the concrete steel pins or steel pins that stick up into that to hold our posts up Hold it 
Beautiful fit mat right there. Ooh, that's how it goes. Then we're gonna put a peg right here. Like it was meant to be in there. Like it was, like it was glue there. All right, let's get it out of there. That's good. You wanna make room for me or is that? I mean, I can hold it for a while, but not too long. What is there? Grab the other side. Yep, I got it. Oh, I can't see. Starting up there. 